I said I gotta keep it kosher In a room full of vultures uh, And to them eggs blow the chauffeurs I'm a L-O-Z soldier, L-O-Z soldier I gotta keep it kosher Israelite like mentality We in war with flesh and blood We war with principalities These pastors be manipulating the scriptures They some Pharisees are infidel It's worse than these cracks If you ask me, gotta keep it kosher Israelite like mentality We in war with flesh and blood We war with principalities Heavenly things? Yeah. I don't know, man. You look kind of gone right now. I, I think <laughs> you, 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 you drunk? Keep it drunk. You good? I'm good. Hey, yes. Like, our mind on alcohol, drugs. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so now, I see your shirt say faith, right? Yeah. Now, do you have faith in Christ? Yes. Yeah. Y'all got faith in Christ? Yes. Y'all yeah. mind if I test that faith? No. All right, give me first John 4 and 1. I want to show y'all something real quick. Y'all from Miami? No, I'm from Miami. From? You from Miami? Yeah. All right, where y'all from? South Carolina. South Carolina? South Carolina? South Carolina. South Carolina. You from Maryland? South All right, South read that for me. Give me first John for me. The book of first John chapter four, verse one. Read. You know, but love, uh -huh. believe not every spirit. They say what? Believe not every spirit. Read. But try the spirit. But what? But try the spirit. Read. Whether they are of God. Uh huh. Because many false prophets right. are gone out into the world. Uh huh. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Right. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Is of what? Is of God. Do y'all profess that Christ is the Son of God? Yeah. Yes. So meaning, if he says something. Y'all take it as coming out of the mouth of the Son of God. Yes? yes? Give me Matthew 4 and 17. If you don't mind me asking, what's your nationality? Where are your people from? Argentina. Argentina? Children of Africa. What about you? Puerto Rico. Huh? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? What about you? U.S. U.S.? You too? U.S. U.S. So, two, both of y'all would be Israelites from the tribe of Judah. You see it say African American. You said Argentina, right? Yes, sir. You would be from the tribe of Naphtali. You said, you said um, Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico, right? You see down here, Joseph Joseph had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. You would be from the tribe of Ephraim, right? So all of you are Israelites, and y'all profess y'all faith in Christ. Now I want to show y'all something that Christ said. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 17. Read. For that time... Hey, Papa, pa you got to go... Oh, I thought that was smoke. My bad. You good, you good, you good. Read. For that time, Jesus began to preach uh -huh. and to say, uh -huh. repent. What did he say? Repent. What did he say? Repent. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. How would you describe the action of repentance? Give me first John 3 and 4. Because remember, this is the one who we profess to be the son of God. If he says something, I damn sure better understand what he meant. I can't just be like, I don't know. Because this is ain't regular. I would have rather y'all just went past me. Rather than me showing y'all the words of Christ and leave here not knowing what he meant. So can any one of y'all describe to me what is the action of repentance? What does that mean? You sure you sure you something that you regret? Okay, what about you? You sure to God that all your sins You believe in God's sins? Yeah. Now you said a word, sin. In order to understand how to repent, you gotta understand what sin is. So let's define that first. And then I'm gonna re-ask the question. Maybe you'll be able to give me the answer. Read. First John 3 4. First John 3 and 4. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever commit of sin. Transgressive also the law. They say what? Whosoever commit of sin, transgressive also the law. So sin is the transgression of law. What law? Whatever it was. Love God. God's law. Where do we find God's law? We find it in the first five books of the Bible. Right? Now, Christianity would teach you that. That no matter is in place. But if Christ is telling us to repent, right, which is to turn away from your sin. And sin is the transgression of the law. The only way for me to repent is for me to look at the law, see if I'm breaking any of them, and stop. Wouldn't you agree? You said that's what repentance is. So we can't throw away God's law. Because then the action of repenting would be none and void. Agreed? So now, give me Leviticus 11 and 7. I'm going to show y'all a law, and y'all let me know if y'all are breaking it. If y'all are, y'all would be doing what? Committing what? Sin. Committing sin. Now, if you wanted to repent from that sin, you would do what? Follow the law. You would stop doing it, right? So let's read that. 
The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Read. And the swine. It says what? And the swine. The swine is the what? The pig, the pork, the ham, right? Read. Though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, read. Yet he cheweth not the cud, read. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh. Of their what? Of their flesh. Read. Shall he not eat? Any of y'all eat pork? Yeah. Everybody eat pork? So now, if eating pork according to God's law is a. So now, in order to repent from breaking God's law, you would have to stop eating pork. That's how this relationship works. Now, a lot of people say, you can do whatever you want as long as you call on the name of Jesus. Now, when we read in 1 John 4 and 2, they said, yes, the people who profess that that is the Son of God, right? That's a true spirit. But now, we have to see if you really understand who this man even was. Because when we read that, a lot of times the pastor doesn't tell us what sin is and how to truly repent. Because the law is taught to be null and void, nailed to the cross. But we see here that can't be true. Because that is the very thing that the Most High gave us to conduct our lives after. Right? Now, I know we live in my y'all in Miami, y'all trying to have a good time, y'all doing whatever, right? We all young, right? Anybody here over 30? Nah, so y'all young, right? I'm 31. Now, sex is probably the most uh, 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 marketed thing in America. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Right? If it's a rap song that come out, if it's a TV show that come out, they're going to try to throw a little sex in there because that's going to captivate the audience. Now give me Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. I'm going to read See how brothers this, right? Read. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Read. And if a man entice a maid. So if y'all speak game to a woman, read. That is not betrothed. That is not married, doesn't have a boyfriend, so to speak, read. And lie with her. And do what? And lie with and her. And you have sex with her, read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Say it again. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. So if you have sex with a woman, what's the next step you gotta do? Marry her. What a, now, if you don't marry her, what would that be called? Sin. That would be sin, because you didn't keep the law of God. Now, this is the thing about it. It may seem as something so small, but the reason why a lot of us grow up with just mama or just daddy is because when our parents met, they never was thinking about this. They were thinking about having a good time in Miami, right? Getting drunk, doing their thing, and then going about their business. Now, you, any anybody here grew up in this parent household? You did? You did? You did? You did? No. Four out of four. Now, it's not a coincidence. Because when we don't keep God's commandments, there are something that, that's called curses that come upon us. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The very fact that everybody was able to admit that they didn't grow up with a father. Now when we read in the scriptures that that was a curse that would happen if we didn't keep the commandments, let's draw the correlation between the two. Two people sleep together, they are supposed to be married. But since our fathers and mothers didn't think like that, something transpired, which is called a single parent household. Now, when we grow up, we got a missing piece of the puzzle, right? We're supposed to get that nurturing and that care from our mother. We're supposed to get that discipline and order from our father. We need both of them to be able to navigate this life. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Now, this is talking to the Israelites like y'all just found out that y'all are. Two Judites, an Ephraimite, and a Naphtaliite. Read. But it shall come to pass. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, right. which I command you this day. Read. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God made it as clear as day. If you don't listen to me, a curse is going to come upon you. Read verse 56. Uh. Verse 56. Verse 54. Salakia. Verse 54. Read. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate, right. his eye shall be evil toward his brother read and toward the wife of his bosom it says that the man that used to once be cool in his neighborhood he's gonna have to he's gonna start having an evil eye towards his brother they call that black on black what black on black crime and we get clowned for it right and it said that he was gonna have an evil eye towards the wife of his bosom now let's see what that evil eye causes him to do to his woman read and toward the remnant 
of his children read which he shall lead which he shall do what which he shall lead which he shall do what which he shall lead god made it very clear if y'all don't keep my commandments a curse is going to come upon y'all that y'all are going to have an evil eye towards each other and the kids are going to have to suffer for which all of us here do it's not a coincidence that it's prevalent in our community because now the truth is that because we're Israelites and we don't keep God's laws, these curses have came upon us. But you know what? Some people say, well, it wasn't all that bad. I had a great mother or I had a great father. Now, flip that sign real quick. Let's get to a bigger curse. And I want to see if it's a light one like that one. Read verse 68. Verse 68. Read. And the Most High uh -huh. shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. I know y'all familiar with Moses. Moses led the Israelites out of where? What, 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 what was their condition in Egypt? They were slaves, yes? So the Most High said, I'm going to bring you back into slavery again. Right? Read. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With what? With ships. How did our people get to the Americas? With, with ships, ships, right? Now, y'all might be thinking, well, you know, my people are from Puerto Rico. My people are from Argentina. Flip that. Flip that for me, guys. It's no different. There go your forefathers right there. All we did was flip the sign around. The same atrocities your people face, the same atrocities your people face yeah. is the same thing, right? We see here that the Most High let it be known that if the children of Israel don't hearken unto His word, things like this would happen. Now, y'all were already on the islands of Puerto Rico. They took some of y'all forefathers and shipped them over to Spain. So while we got shipped to the Americas, a lot of y'all got shipped over to Europe. And a lot of the Spaniards came here. But you can see a clear difference as to who the children of Israel are and who the children of Satan are. Because you see the Spaniard being over who? The indigenous of Puerto Rico. It's clear as day. Just like flip that around one more time, Capsula. You see who? The European man being the oppressor over who? The so-called black man. So we suffer the same things. Regardless of the skin tone or whatnot, our people are the same people, the children of Israel. Our sole duty on this earth is to keep God's commandments. Nothing else matters. That's why I ask y'all the question, is y'all mind more on earthly things or heavenly things? Because to, for your mind to be on the heavenly things, that would be the keeping of God's commandments. Because those are the things that rain down from heaven unto us. It's spiritual food, literally. But if our mind is just on Winwood, when this used to be a straight ghetto. You see how easily I can change? But the Most High has never changed. He's always been the same. He's always been the God of Israel. He's always wanted his people to be separate and holy. The only way to do that, though, is to keep the commandments. Let's finish that curse. Read. God. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. They say, was he going to see our homeland no more again, which is Israel? Now you have so-called Jews over there claiming to be us. Now, nobody really wants to be black in America. But when you're the children of Israel, that's an identity you want to assume. Because the, the perks that it comes with is being the chosen people of God. So they don't want to be us per se in this society. But in the eyes of the Lord, they want to be the top nation on earth, which we truly are. But nobody would figure that because we live in the hood. Mm -hmm. And we only grow up with one parent. And it's a liquor store and a corner store and a laundry van and a church in all of our neighborhoods. Yep. And we hate our baby mother. And the baby mama hate the baby father. And our kids don't listen. And we eat food that's detrimental to our health. We don't respect our parents. So nobody would ever think that we're the children of Israel. Come to find out, we are. Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold. Ye shall be what? Sold. Read. Unto your enemies. Uh huh. For bondmen and bond women. Read. And no man shall buy you. So the Most High said that if y'all don't listen to me, I'm going to send y'all over into a land to be slaves. That happened. Because you have to, you know who uh, Mike Tyson is? Now just imagine, during the slave trade, there was at least a thousand black men built like Mike Tyson. You mean to tell me that these guys were able to come over there and convince them to come on a boat and be slaves? That don't make sense. They would have got beat up. Something had to be able to make us so fearful hearted that we would say, all right, we'll go. And that was God because we didn't want to listen to him. So he now put us in that position because the position that we're supposed to be in, which is the top of the earth, we didn't want that. We thought it was too suspect. So let me leave y'all with this real quick. Give me, I believe it's 1 Thessalonians 
2 and verse 3. Or 4 and 3. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 3. Yeah, first Thessalonians 4 and 3. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Y'all good, y'all gave me y'all time. So I, I was trying to, I was trying to think of a scripture. Nah, y'all good, y'all good, y'all good. I appreciate y'all time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll praise to the most high. Stay strong, I'm a warrior. Stay strong, I'm a warrior. Stay strong, I'm a warrior.